I'm gonna tell y'all truthfully, coming back to the faith, I feel completely brainwashed. I feel like I am being unbrainwashed about everything that I learned about God during my 15 years in the world. Content Chris, Content Chris, I don't have an intro, this is Content Chris. Da -da. Hey family, <sighs> how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing good. I hope everybody is having a good day today. I hope your week has been going good. I hope your life um, is feeling incredibly blessed because it is, even if you have the ability and the time and the freedom to sit here and watch this video right now, um, should be a testament of God's grace and mercy over your life. So I hope that you have taken some time to show the Father some gratitude today. I really truly just wanted to come on here and just share really quickly about where I am right now in my walk with Christ. There's a very real difference between walking with Christ and committing your life to Christ. And I am just now like on the end kind of of my walk without commitment. I'm at the point where I'm ready to commit my life fully. Um, so I really just wanted to talk about kind of like what that looks like, what the differences are, and just share that because I have really truly come to realize that there is no way better than God's way. There is no human on this earth that can tell me there's a better way than God's way. There's no God. There's no nothing. Nobody can convince me that God's way is not the best way for us because I've always been somebody who's believed in like utopian societies. And anytime I express my thoughts or opinions about them, I always get combated with, oh, we would never be able to live in that society. People are selfish, um, racism, poverty, slavery. Like people have all these reasons as to why we could never live in a utopian society. When in reality, all it would take is for every single individual to decide for themselves that they're going to commit to a godlike life. <laughs> and literally, we could just be doing so much better as a society. So, I just feel like a lot of people agree with that and a lot of people would want to live in a world like that but because of because of people's lack of faith in God first and foremost because if you're a real Christian you truly believe in God you could you believe he could do anything and if God wanted this world to be a utopian society he could make it that way but he's giving us the choice and the freedom to help each other grow in understanding of why his way is the best way um, and the best way that we can do that for each other is to share our experiences and that's why we're here today. But I wanted to be clear, y'all. I really want to encourage people to consider living a Christ-led life. So I, I'm just going to talk today a little bit about the difference between a walk with Christ and a commitment to Christ because I feel like a lot of people are like kind of interested. Like a lot of people, I've been talking to family members and stuff. And it really seems like God is moving in a lot of people's lives. I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's just the shift of the dark and the light trying to rebalance itself. But I have seen and, and witnessed God slowly but surely picking more and more of his children and calling them back home. And I feel like a lot of people are nervous to answer that call because of the great commitment that you believe is expected to come when you come back to Christ. So that's why I want to just kind of talk about those two different things today, because there are two different things, baby. You can walk with Christ. This might take a long time. Okay. So walk and commitment. Right. I've been walking with Christ for about the past year. What that pretty much means is throughout the past year, I haven't really been doing anything slowly i've been slowly making changes to my life that helps me spend more time with god understand him better um spend time in his word basically just get a general idea of who he truly is through the word that he created and left here for us thousands and thousands of years ago so that's pretty much what my walk has been um and slowly over time i've just naturally changed habits in my life and just different things you start getting convicted about different things through your walk now a walk is going to last forever like thank you jesus we get to walk and have a personal relationship with the father forever and it's always going to be changing and growing and evolving as long as we change and grow and evolve but a commitment is is different 
A commitment is, okay, God, I believe everything you say in your word, and I am committed to living a life according to your laws. Now, this is where people kind of, I feel like, start drifting away. This is when people kind of be like, ugh, I know God is real, but I don't believe in organized religion. I know God is real, but I don't think it's just like one singular thing. I don't know. People have a bunch of, there's a lot of discussion about God, okay? And, but people don't want to be honest about the sacrifice that comes with believing in God. And that's where the commitment part comes in because that commitment is going to require you to change a lot of things. But God, I don't even think, some pastors will say, as soon as you commit your life to Christ, you need to change everything. I just don't think that's true. I think that's true for some people. I, I truly believe, especially people who are called to pastorship, leadership. I believe that when God calls them and they dedicate their lives to Christ, it comes with commitment off rip. And I believe that he gives them the strength to be committed off rip. But I don't believe that's everybody's case. And I believe that God allows those things to be different in our lives and for people to be able to walk with him and commit later because that testimony could absolutely impact somebody else later down the line. Um, so that's why we don't try to understand God. We're not God. We got to stay in a child's place. Okay, baby, when it comes to the Lord. We stay in our place and we let the father do what he going to do. So the commitment part for me personally, I've been walking with Christ for about a year now. I've talked about it a lot on my channel. Y'all can go back and watch my other videos. Um, just talking about like what led me back to my commitment or what led me back to wanting to come back to the faith. Um, rededicate my life to Christ. And right now I've been doing that for a year. And when I first started, there was not a lot of changes to my everyday habits. Like I was still going out, still doing what I was doing. Um, but I was absolutely intentional about seeking out God and spending time in his word, talking to his, his spiritually chosen, um, just trying to do better about putting myself more in his presence rather than putting myself in the world all the time. So slowly but surely, certain habits in my life started to change. And now it's taken me a full year to be ready to commit my life to Christ. But that's where I am now, personally. I am at a point where I truly believe in my heart of hearts that God's way of living is the best way for us all. Literally, for us individually, but for sure collective as a society. All it would take is literally just every single one of us just being responsible for us. Just being good shepherds over these bodies that the Lord has so graciously <laughs> allowed us to be stewards over. Like it only takes you deciding for yourself that you're going to be committed to a Christ-like life. When we choose to be in the world versus choosing to be in God's world and serving God's kingdom, we are not affecting people the way we could be if we chose to walk the way God intended us to and live the life the way God intended us to. Um, and you don't know how many people go untouched because you have turned away. You've turned away from how the creator has created you to be. Um, so there's just, you know, there's a lot to unpack there. I'll, I'll if y'all want to talk about it deeper, we can talk about that deeper. Definitely leave me a comment if you have any like questions or anything about that. But I just, yeah, I want to encourage people to at least start your walk, you know, and all that looks like is just being like, you know what, let me just spend a little time with God. Like, let me just, let me see what this guy's talking about. Let me see, let me really see, because I done heard about him and he really sounded a little wild to me. Like, it, it just really sound too unbelievable to me. Like, if, if you're just a little bit curious, just, I encourage you. I'll say the first thing I did for sure was change the music I listened to. Like, off rip, I was just like, okay, I know for sure, like, music is very impactful on me. So, the first thing I did was change all the music I listened to. I was like, all right, I'm just going to listen to gospel music for a week straight. And I'm going to do a devotional every morning. So, that's just two small, small things. You feel me? Just choose one thing in your life. And for a specific amount of time, don't even put a time limit on it, honestly. Just be like, okay, I'm gonna just listen to gospel music. And I know this is getting kind of rainy, so I'm about to wrap it up. 
but <laughs> I do want to really encourage people to like if you feel the call back to Christ literally just try tr start by just trying to include God more in one different way than you have been so even if you pray in your head don't count that try try to add something to that so if you want to add you know changing the music you listen to or changing the things you watch like maybe you're you know you love consuming youtube content like go listen to some some christian youtubers um if you like to watch tv watch some christian based faith-based content and just see you feel me just see because the verse that says seek and you should find i, I literally talk about it all the time because it's like the tr like Y'all know I be fangirling them guys sometimes. And I'm I'm trying to control it. Because I don't want to say nobody off. <laughs> People go be like, this girl brainwashed. Da -da -da -da. Baby, let me bring brainwashed. Because let me, I'm going to tell y'all truthfully. Coming back to the faith, I feel completely brainwashed. I feel like I am being unbrainwashed about everything that I learned about God during my 15 years in the world. And it has been a very surreal feeling, honestly. To just be like... It's, just, it's been crazy but so yeah I say all that to say if you feel a, a pull a call from God if he's trying to get in contact with you man just just try just be open to it soften your heart to it your commitment don't have to start today your commitment could start a month from now it could start a year from now it can start 10 years from now like only the Lord knows your testimony and how he wants your life to go and only you can choose when you're ready to make that change if you ever become ready maybe you you try god and you be like this is not for me hey all we can do is, as believers is be here for you when you go and be here for you when you get back like that's really it so i hope this encouraged somebody to <laughs> you know to even just start thinking about it just trying to put yourself in god's presence more i promise you it will change and elevate your life in ways that you really you you think you know how your life could be changed and elevated you think if i had some money if i had this I, i'm trying to tell y'all if y'all have peace if y'all have joy y'all have happiness that's how you really elevate your life and that is something that in my 30 years of living i've come to understand that it ain't no peace better than God's peace there's no joy better than God's joy and there's no truth other than God's truth and he really has the best way for us to live God has the best way for us to live our best lives individually and collective as a society so let me know y'all thoughts about this like do y'all feel like it's a difference between a walk and a commitment if you're on a faith walk or a journey where are you at right now in your faith um, I would love to discuss. So y'all let me know. Leave me some comments um, below. And that's all I got for y'all today. I will talk to y'all next week. I love y'all so much. Bye.